Hey guys, it's Tori from Monogram Moments and today I'm going to show you all how to take these alphas and break them up so you can use each letter individually. And this method does not include cropping or erasing. Now this is Southern Draw's new alpha that they just released on our website and I will have the direct link below this video so you can check that out if you're interested. So I've gone ahead and pulled in the first file. I unzipped it and pulled in the dots A through M. And I'm also going to go ahead and pull in the N through Z. I'm just gonna leave that over there because I'm gonna do the same thing that I do to this set, to this set. And then once I finish this set, you'll notice three other packs in here that are all separated. So once I finish doing this to the dots, I'm also going to do it to the rainbow stripes and the trio as well. I've got my PNG selected and you will notice that it's moving together as a group and that is because it is a PNG. Normally you would be able to right click and select ungroup, but this is not an SVG where you would be able to do that. This is the PNG. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to select copy. And then I'm going to right click again and select paste in front. So I do have two copies now, however, don't drag yours. I was just doing this for example. We're going to select that top copy and we're going to go over here to the image effects panel. I'm going to select the sun and I'm going to drag the darkness all the way down to black. So now we have a nice crisp black line. A lot of times when we use this trace tool over letters or any design like this, it gives us the texture instead of just doing the outline like we want. So I'm going to the trace panel. I'm going to select trace area and I'm going to drag my box over all of my letters. They turn yellow and now I'm going to select trace and attach takes my computer just a second to process that and now I'm going to select each of these black letters and delete them because I no longer need them. So you can do that one by one or you can select one, hold shift on your keyboard and select all of the others just to save a little bit of time and then delete. Okay so now we need to get rid of these little lines. So I'm just going to select anywhere between all these letters, hold my mouse down and drag this out and you'll see we'll get this really thin black outline. So I need to delete that and we need to do that once more. So I'm going to select just right in between any of these letters, drag this out and now we are getting this really thin pink line. I'm going to select that. So if I were to keep if I were to keep doing this, you notice there's nothing else for me to draw drag out. And these letters are now free to move. So I would first make sure that my I is grouped together. If I were just to move it, it separates the two. So any letters that have two parts like this, be sure to select both of them, right click and select a group. So now they'll move together as a group. So I've completed A through M. So I will do the same thing with N through Z. And once I do that, I'm going to file, save to hard drive or wherever you like to save. I'm going to resave this with its original name, dots, and then I'm gonna put A through Z. So I know whenever I need to come back to this file, this is the one that I want to use because it's already separated. It's ready for me to go. And I'm going to do this for each of these packs that come in here and resave them individually. So I've done that for two of these other packs and say I want to start with this M and I want to make the name Meg using the other letters. So let's take this E and just selecting it, hitting Control C for copy. I'm going to paste it right here. And then I'm going to use this one for my G, so I'm selecting it, and I'm going to paste my G over here, and there we go. So this is such an easy way to get these letters ungrouped, keep them proportional, and you only have to do it once. There's no cropping or erasing involved. It's so nice and easy and efficient. And that is all. If you have any other questions, uh, please leave those in the comments and I will be sure to get to them. If you have ideas for future YouTube tutorials, please let me know. And again, be sure to check out this super cute new alpha um, at our website.
I will see you guys next time. Bye.